Okay, good morning, my dear students. Okay, now we will introduce unit one in prep two. Move ahead. The title of the of this unit is called "Let's Go Shopping." Okay, okay. Here, I will. I want. I want to ask you some questions. Okay. Do you like shopping? Do you like shopping? What kind of shopper are you? What kind of shopper are you? Okay, how often do you go shopping? Once a week, twice. Who go with you? Your parents, your mother, your sister, okay, or alone. Now, we will introduce some new words of this yarn. The first word, super shopper. Super shopper is the person who is clever at shopping. The person who is clever at shopping. Quick shopper, the one who takes little time at shopping. The person who takes little time at shopping. So the first word, super shopper, the one who is clever at shopping. The second one, the person who takes little time at shopping. The opposite of quick shopper is slow shopper. Slow shopper, the noun, the one who takes a long time in shopping. The opposite of quick shopper. But average shopper means the one who takes reasonable time in shopping, that he doesn't take little time or a long time. Shopping list, it's a paper that contains things that you want to buy. A list of things you want to buy, usually written on a piece of paper. Department store, a large store, which is divided into a little a lot of different sections that you want to buy. Shopping mall, a large store like Horea Mall, City Star Mall, that you can buy anything. Brand names, the special name that a company gives to a product, like Adidas, okay? Brand name, the special name that you, that a company gives to a product. Sales, a time of shopping that you can buy goods in low price, okay? It's a period of time that you can buy goods in low price. Bargain. Bargain means the agreement between the seller and the buyer, that you can buy things in low price, okay? The agreement between the seller and the buyer. Wallet. A small folded case for keeping money, that you keep money in the wallet. Pavement, a path with the hard surface where you can walk beside the street, that you can walk in the street in the pavement. Designer trainer, trainers made by a company with a well-known name. Trainers made by a company with a well-known name. Costume, special clothes. Special clothes okay, in, that you wear on a special occasion. The last word, ache mean pain. When I say stomach, okay, ache mean pain. Okay, this hour, these are the words for today. Okay. Okay. Here I have an exercise about the new words. Okay, let's answer with each other. Choose. Tom's found a really good CD player off in on by sale the answer is sale on sale number two the american word for shop is shop has an american word which is called yes store number three a ring submarine capsule canoe is a kind of ship that goes under the surface of the sea the ship that goes under the surface of the sea, submarine. Number four, where it took there down to the first floor. The moving stair, we call it escalator. Number five, what kind of, I, I speak about the person, what kind of shopper are you? Is it clear? Okay. Now, we have some words. British and the American, the same meaning but different in some cases. 
Okay, for example, the first word, shop, is a British expression. In American, store. Pavement, British. In American, sidewalk. Sweet, British. American candy. Children, kids. Favorite, favorite. But here's the difference in the spelling. Here, F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E. Okay, the second one, F-A-V-O-R-I-T. As we know that we omit you. Funfair, amusement park. Then, shopping center, shopping mall. Okay, these are the British expression and the American one. Okay, here our grammar today is about sample and compound form. What do you mean of sample and the compound form? Simple form that the sentence contain only one verb, but compound verb that the sentence contain contains more than one verb. For example, when I say Ali plays tent in the club, here we have a, a verb plays, only one verb, so it is a simple verb. But when the sentence contains more than one verb, we call it compound verb, as this example. The sandwiches will be eaten here. There are more than one verb, well, be eaten. So it is a compound verb. We know something. There's a simple verb only for the present simple and the past simple only. Okay? Here we have another example. Sally studies hard, studies, okay? For the sample, we live in Egypt. Omar is a good boy. They enjoyed their time in London. All these examples are simple verb. Okay, for the compound verb, Lala is playing computer game. Is playing. They have decorated their room. She has been studying English for 12 years. Here we have more than one verb or one more than part of the verb. So we called it compound verb. Okay, okay. Now we will answer some exercises about the grammar. Put the verbs in the correct form, or in the correct verb. The first word, the first sentence, they often go present simple. I won't go, use often and go in the present a form. So we say they often go. Number two, a new building destroy. I won't destroy in the past simple passive by the bush fires. Okay, the past simple passive I was destroyed. Okay, was destroyed. Past simple passive. Number three, May drew just this picture. As we know, just the keywords of the present perfect. So here, the correction of the verb is has just drawn has just drawn number four now i still work present continuous for the government here present continuous is still working is still working okay the second part choose number one a teacup is a okay here i want to explain something the difference between content and container Container means that we don't know if there is anything inside. We don't know if there is anything inside. Okay? So, for the example, teacup. Teacup that we don't know if there is, uh, if there is anything inside or not. But content, we know if there is something inside it. Cup of tea. As we know, in the container, we don't put any proposition. But in content, we put, for example, teacup container, cup of, of, okay, we see of tea, this is content. So here, in the first one, a teacup is a content, container, continent, continent. But the answer is container, okay? As we know, there isn't any proposition. Number two, or article. Number two, do, does, has, is, my have a sister this question in the present uh, in the present sample so does number three 
the new opera house in 1997 with the passive in the past. Number three was constructed. Number four, can I have two of matches? Two boxes of matches. Okay. Okay. The homework today, choose and rewrite. Choose, she's like her mother of in on with manicures. Number two, she spends a lot of money on in a for music and sports. Lake Nasser is a man made, man making, making a man, man made lake. Egypt is full of tourist attractions, attention, attractive contractions. Number four, the Ahram is a lo locate, local, objective, the pastor newspaper. Rewrite. The teacher will explain the lesson. Next week, I want the passive. Begin with this lesson. Number two of the lesson. They go to the club twice a week. I want to use the question how. I want to ask about twice a week. Number three, they have just finished their homework. This is a negative four. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and good luck.